Hello everyone, today I made sweet chili sauce. This sweet chili sauce can go well as dip for your small chops and also for your fries. It can also be very very useful in your shawarma, your pizza, your burger, your sandwiches, even your bread toast. So I will show you how to make these switches. You can also use it in your sauces or in your stews. So let's do this. For this recipe, you need the long fresh chilies or in Nigeria, the one we call shombo, okay? So you need to remove all the seeds from this pepper. So when you remove the seeds from the pepper, you have to then transfer it to your pots. And once you transfer into the pot, uh, I'm just showing you guys the pepper you need for this recipe. So once you transfer this into the pot, you add in some ginger and garlic. Okay, so once you add in some ginger and garlic, you add in some water, not too much of the water anyways, you add in some water, then you cover this and let it cook for up to 30 minutes or till the pepper softens. So once as the pepper is cooking, you go ahead and mix some corn flour and water, okay? So you mix some corn flour and water or cornstarch and water, whichever one. So mix it and then set aside. Once the pepper is ready and soft, you're going to take the pepper out from the water, then transfer into your blender. Now the water that you used in boiling this pepper, you're also going to add it back into the blender because you're going to use this water to blend everything, both the pepper, the ginger and the garlic. So once you are done blending everything, you transfer back into the pot and you're going to transfer this back on heat. Now you need to add enough water because you want this to have a kind of runny test, uh, consistency, sorry. So you need it to have a kind of runny consistency. You don't want it to be too thick, but if you just want your oat to be too thick, okay, you can just go ahead that way, okay. But if you want it to have a kind of a runny texture, you're going to add a little more water to it. Then once that is done, you're going to transfer this back on heat. Once you transfer this back on heat, you cover the pot and let it start boiling. So once the pepper meat starts to boil, you're going to add in some sugar. So for this quantity, I added half cup plus one over three cup of sugar. So into this. So after adding the sugar, you're going to stir and make sure that everything mixes and dissolves well. Next, after the sugar, you add in 1 over 3 cup of white vinegar. 1 over 3 cup of white vinegar. For this quantity that I'm making, I use 1 over 3 cup of white vinegar. The white vinegar will help to make sure that this particular recipe doesn't get too thick and as well, it will serve as a preservative for this recipe. So once you've added the white vinegar, you stir it so well and then once it starts boiling this way you add in a little bit of salt and then the next thing comes is the cornstarch slurry that you've made earlier so you're going to add it and start stirring once you add in the cornstarch you're going to allow this to start boiling for a longer time okay so now after boiling this for a longer time and the consistency is not as thick as you want, you can go ahead adding more cornstarch slurry and also keep stirring and also allowing it to boil for more time, okay? Once it has boiled down and the consistency is exactly what you're looking for just as you see in the video, it's not too runny, it's not too thick, okay? You're going to stop there, take it down from the heat and keep it aside, allow it to cool down completely. Finally, once the pepper mix is or pepper sauce is completely cooled, you're going to transfer this into a container and you're going to cover this container and put in your refrigerator or in your freezer, wherever you want to put it. I let it stay there whenever you want to use it you can use it 
okay like i said this will go well as dips for your fries for your small chops and also it can be used in your shawarma in your pizza in your burger in your sandwiches name it so why not go ahead make this recipe and let me know in the comment section i will turn that for you thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye